what's going on guys today I got a request for a review of good workout supplements and supplements that can be harmful to you so any supplement that you take basically um, can be bad for you anything good that's taken in high consumption also can be bad for you so say for instance water uh, we know our body needs water to uh, go through our daily activities on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you over hydrate in water You will basically piss out all your your natural amino acids and all that type of stuff So same thing goes for if you're taking a pre-workout I never take more than one scoop of pre-workout a day if I know that I'm training twice a day Then I'll take a half a scoop at each training uh, time um, green tea extract powder. I did a video yesterday on green tea extract powder about the benefits of it as far as helping you focus and be alert and again some studies say that it aids in uh, fat burning so on and so forth all these things can be true or false depending on how you use it but one thing that is true that all of it filters through your liver <clears throat> notable mentions also are uh, chaparral, coat's foot, comfrey, germander, and acante but other things that people also take is basically regular caffeine powder red yeast rice and eucinic acid um, all of those uh, items that I just mentioned basically they help with weight loss athletic performance your alert uh, uh, alertness some of them help lower your LDL which is your bad cholesterol and some help with pain relief but one thing about it is that some people they take too much of it and then that's when they start to have these uh, adverse effects on their body and then they try to blame and sue these supplement companies about this stuff did this to me and so on and so forth but you just gotta regulate your consumption and understand what you're taking and why you're taking it and if you're same thing like working out if you're trying to do a, a exercise for chest and you're doing a, a, a pressing movement but you don't feel it in your chest then it's a couple things that could be wrong like your technique or the weight so on and so forth same thing with uh, supplements basically you have to take them the right way and use them the right way for them to serve their purpose if you don't then basically you'll get all these stories of people who's passing out and and basically fainting from dehydration and all that type of stuff but you got to understand when you're putting this stuff in your body it doesn't work by itself it needs water um, adequate amount of water in your body for the effect to, to occur for whatever purpose that you're taking but if you have any more questions make sure you send them my way and I'll do the best I can to answer them but if I don't know the answer I'll definitely look it up and, and tell you where I found it